everybody, this is cnvweb.com and today I want to talk about server-side form validation using jQuery plugin and PHP. So this video is based on blog post which you can find at nvweb.com slash blog. So last time we talked about client-side form validation using popular jQuery plugin but today we will extend previous example with some PHP code and we will make it more complex. So client side validation saves a lot of time and that's for sure, but there is no guarantee that your data you collect from the user will be correct because there are so many ways how you can skip javascript validation and send bad data to the server so in this case if you want to handle this so you have to use uh, php or other uh, server side language okay so let's go further to php code and we will see how to make things work okay this example contains three main files uh, the first one is index.php file which contains the basic html form and this form is very similar to previous client-side validation example but it has additional uh, form attributes like method and action and it also has include validation rules include and also it includes uh, jQuery library and jQuery validate plugin. The second file lib.php contains validation rules and the third one uh, contains all the PHP code which is responsible for uh, data validation in the server. So let's get back now to previous file lib.php and here we have our validation rules like I mentioned before and how you see the code is very similar to previous client-side validation example and to complete the validation we have to translate this validation rules that it would be usable by jQuery validate plugin and the plugin takes validation rules encoded with JSON uh, so uh, the structure is very similar similar to JavaScript version and uh, and so all we have to do is just to encode these rules to JSON format and and just give it to validation plugin so if we are talking about previous examples so here we have our validation rules here and now in this example we take that validation rules from php file encode that rules in json format and give it to validation plugin so it's actually pretty simple Submit.php file is also pretty basic. It takes both data from index.php file 
and validation rules from lib.php and pass this information to get errors function and this function compares a list of inputs to a list of rules and returns an array of all points where the inputs differ from the rules if error array is empty the form is valid otherwise we will get some messages saying that something gone wrong while validating our form and there are places that we need to pay attention so how you noticed uh, there is surname validation rule but actually we don't have uh, a surname field in the form so if we put uh, everything okay in the form i mean we input correct data in the form and hit submit we will get the error message anyway because there is no surname field in the form but we still have but we still have the surname validation rule so if you want to pass the validation test you have to remove the surname uh, validation rule because Validation rules uh, depends on your input fields. It, it has to be equal. I mean, how much you have uh, input fields. So, so it has to be the exact number of validation rules. And and now we just hit one more time and your form has no errors because we just uh, removed the surname validation rule okay and the next thing the next thing you may also wonder what is this filter function here uh, so it is build PHP function which takes value and uh, filters it with specific filter in, in this case we use email filter about this function and complete filters list you can find at php.net web page so that's it all i wanted to share with you this time so if you have some questions or if you would like to try demo you can do this in our blog nbweb.com slash blog and uh, try it Use it, change it, that's it, good luck.